Hi, Dr. Rose here from Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a return subscriber, I appreciate you for uh, staying with me and for sharing my video with your friends and colleagues. So, you know, when you share my video, this helps my channel grow and I appreciate you for doing that. So, uh, this is a continuation of a bunch of videos which I'm planning on putting out. We'll listen and this is part four of my entire perfume collection. If you haven't seen part one, two and three, uh, I will link them somewhere up here for you so you can watch them. But please uh, watch them and you will see just to see, you know, how many fragrances this crazy woman has in her collection. So uh, before we get into the perfumes, uh, again, you know, uh, my friend Andrea inspired me to uh, do videos for my entire collection. So if you want to blame someone for making you watch all these videos, all these perfume videos, yeah, blame Andrea. Don't blame me. Just joking. Thank you for watching. So before we get into uh, uh, the fragrances, I want to share with you about something that I learned again this week. And I've heard about it and I never actually quite researched it. But this week before I did the video, I wanted to research it so I can bring the information to you guys. As women and men, we are, when we are working or driving, sometimes we don't pay attention to things that are happening in, in cars around us. Cars that are driving by or when you uh, pass, you see a parked cars with a bunch of kids or women in it. You don't you know, think twice to say, could, is someone in danger? Is that person in distress? So, but now I urge you to, you know, pay attention to those things because you could actually save a life or many lives. So, uh, I learned this week about this distress sign that a person who is in an unsafe situation could uh, could show you. And mostly it's uh, women who have been, you know, sex trafficking or young girls who have been kidnapped and also young boys, young men who have been kidnapped also because we know sex traffic doesn't only happen to girls, it also happens to boys, it can happen to anyone, any one of us, right? Any family members or, you know, teenagers from other countries that they brought them here to the States, you know, uh, to be sex trafficked. So let's just, you know, Pay attention to the signs learn about the signs so maybe we could help someone and I don't want you to put yourself in any bad situation right but you know just learn about the sign or even pick up the phone and make a phone call you could save someone so the sign that I learned this week is when you are in a car if you see someone doing this in the in the car right uh, five fingers are up and the person uh, falls the thumb and then falls the other four fingers over this right and the person will repeat it more than once they fold the thumb and then they fold the other four fingers over this this is telling you that this person is in distress uh, I don't want you to go in the car and try to yank that person out right I don't want you to make eye contact with the driver because most of the time the driver is the person uh, uh, you know abusing that person or sex trafficking that person the one thing you can do to save that person is call 911 and maybe discreetly get the license tag and the make of the car and the model of the car and give it to the authorities and you could save a life you could save a young lady or a young man or even an older woman from being sex trafficked thank you so much for watching this so when I come back I'm going to share with you my fragrances for part four of this video. Thank you. All right, are you still with me? We're back. Remember the signs, right? The sign for this your sign for a person who has been sex trafficked or is kidnapped, right? First time fingers over uh, the thumb means that this person is in danger there it is again F uh, five fingers up the person might keep doing this w finger here and then the f four fingers over the thumb means I'm in distress I need your help help me out all right, all right let's get into the fragrances so in this collection uh, I'm going to share with you four different houses uh, Christian Louboutin, Woja, Killian, Nishien and Dusita. Uh, I don't have a big collection from, from these houses. I just have enough to get in trouble. So I'm just gonna show them to you and stay tuned. Okay, are you ready? 
let's get after it. The first fragrance is Luby Crown from the house of Christian Louboutin. This is for a fragrance for women. It's an amber woody fragrance. I love this. I haven't worn this in a while and I'm looking forward to wearing this this week. I'm going to be wearing this on Sunday. This will be my Sunday fragrance. When my sister comes to visit with her husband, I'm excited to see them. The second fragrance is Luby Prince. Uh, Luby Prince is uh, uh, an amber fragrance for women, for men and women. This is uh, this one was released in 2022. I love this fragrance. It's very strong. It's very powerful. It's beautiful. Fragrance number two, and this is the last of my uh, Christian Louboutin fragrance, and this is Luby Charm. Luby Charm oh, is a Shipra fragrance for men and women. Guys, ladies, try this, baby. You will absolutely love wearing this. It's very strong, very powerful. It's also gorgeous. All right, let's get into the Woja fragrances. I only have four Woja fragrances, guys. I don't have very many. I had five. I gave one of them away to a friend of mine who really, really wanted it. So uh, I just wasn't wearing it because it had tobacco in it. And you know that I don't like to smell like a pipe or a cigarette for that matter. So, uh, the first one in the Woja that I have is one of my favorite uh, Woja fragrances. This is Ember Oud. This is the perfume version. It was a gift. You guys know this. I love this fragrance and I think I have a video of this fragrance and then I will link it somewhere up here for you guys to be able to uh, watch this video to see the full review of this perfume. The second one from the Woja fragrance is uh, Scandal. Scandal actually is my first uh, Woja fragrance I ever purchased. Uh, as you can see, I've been wearing it. Uh, I don't wear it a lot. It's very powerful. It's a beautiful fragrance. If you've never tried Scandal, I would say try Scandal on your skin. You will love Scandal. Uh, this one is a tuberose fragrance. If you're into, if you're into tuberose, you will love wearing this fragrance. The third fragrance is Sweetie Oud. Sweetie Oud is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful fragrance, guys. Uh, it's an amber floral fragrance for men and women, and I think everyone who has smelled Sweetie Oud say that they love Sweetie Oud, as I have loved Sweetie Oud. The last fragrance that I have from uh, 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 this house from Oja is uh, Reckless uh, Parfum. Uh, this is the Essence de Parfum. I bought, purchased this fragrance because Nika Marks talked so much about this fragrance and I had to see what she was talking about. And guys, she was right. I will link Nika's channel below for you so you can maybe see her review of this fragrance. She loves this fragrance. She talks about it all the time. I think she has the other version, not the Essence version. But this one is, it's, it's sexy. <laughs> to quote Nika, this is GD Sexy, okay? Beautiful fragrance. Are you still with me? Let's get into the Killian fragrances. I have seven Killian fragrances here. I don't have a lot. You know, to me, that's a collection. The first one is Pearl Oud. Uh, this is an Ember Woody fragrance. I don't wear this a lot because it's very powerful, very strong. I, again, I live in freaking Iowa City. I don't have anywhere to wear this fragrance to, but once in a while, I will spray a dab of it behind my ears just to make me feel sexy. Fragrance number three is Black Phantom. This is an amber vanilla fragrance for men and women. This is the most beautiful uh, one that I have from the house of Killian. I love wearing this fragrance. The next one is Rolling in, in Love, which is an amber floral fragrance. Uh, this is perfect for spring and summer. I would have wear this in the winter, uh, but in the spring and summer, you could wear this and get away with it. It's it's a beautiful amber fragrance, guy. It's kind of it's it's a little sweet and floral uh, fragrance. You will love wearing this. The next one is Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme. When I first heard of the name of this fragrance, I was like, why would they call a fragrance Good Girl Gone Bad, right? Why would a good girl want to go bad? Hey, after watching some videos and some movies, I can see why good girls will go bad. Will go, will go bad because of men, right? No, no, no. That's that's just a lie. Uh, a man cannot make a woman go bad. A woman can go bad because she chooses to go bad. So this good girl gone bad extreme is a floral, woody, musky fragrance. It it is what it is. Floral, woody, and musky. You have all the notes you want in this fragrance to make you smell like you are you are a good girl and then you went bad. Believe me. Try this this summer or this spring. You will want to go bad. 
the next one is love don't be shy extreme love don't be shy extreme is an amber vanilla fragrance it's full of vanilla if you love vanilla and you love amber in your fragrances i would say make this one your number one fragrance uh for this uh for this spring you will love wearing this uh look I don't, you cannot see it but I've you know my bottle is at 80 percent already and I've only had it for for less than uh, I think less than six months since I've had this for, for this beautiful fragrance and I've worn the heck out of it already that's how beautiful it is the other fragrance from the Killian house is intoxicated intoxicated by uh, Killian is an aroma, aromatic uh, spicy fragrance this is uh, not a love for me uh, in this one but I still wear it because I'm not into really aromatic uh, fragrances, you know, it's a little spicy, but it's be it's a beautiful fragrance, don't get me wrong. I'm just not into, you know, I, I wouldn't wear this every day. But uh, again, you know, I, I, I like it. I like wearing this fragrance. The last fragrance that I have is uh, Apple Brandy from the Killian House. If I've mentioned it before, sorry, in this video, uh, I'm losing track of the fragrances that I'm mentioning, but Apple Brandy is Oh, this is your most intoxicating brandy fragrance. Uh, it's pure liquor in this fragrance. You will love this. Do not wear this to work, guys. It's not a fragrance to wear to work. This is a fragrance to wear out to dinner with someone that you're used to, someone who's used to your fragrances. Don't wear this on the first date. He or she will just run away from you. They'll be like, okay, his fragrance or her fragrance were too powerful for me. I cannot be with this person. I'm just, I'm, I'm just joking, but some people will actually feel you know intimidated by your by your fragrance so be careful when you wear this one all right let's get into the nishani fragrances or nishin fragrances uh depending on you know what part of the world you live in you could say nishani or nishin but i usually say nishin the first one is tuberosa tuberosa is beautiful tuberose very strong tuberose fragrance if you are not into uh bozy tuberose fragrances I would say stay away from tuberosa but if you are you need to have this in your collection it's just sexy uh, and i love the red bottle it's uh, look at it it's just beautiful it's a beautiful bottle fragrance it's, the perfume is also beautiful the next fragrance is fan your flame by nishani it's a boozy tobacco and warm fragrance even though i said i do not like tobacco in my fragrances but the tobacco is not very much in this fragrance it's not alive like right in your nose like you're going to smell like a pipe it's a beautiful subtle uh, tobacco and it's for men and women so both genders can wear this fragrance it's also boozy it has some warm in it uh, so this is something you want to wear at night i would say do not wear this to work it's not a work fragrance but something to wear to you know out with your friends your colleagues your significant other the next one is 100 silent ways by nishin this is a powd powdery vanilla fragrance for men and women i don't have anything else to say about this fragrance i just love wearing it get your nose on it look look how much of it i've used already since i've had it so you know that means i love this fragrance the next one is Annie. Oh, Annie is so sexy. Annie is an amber floral fragrance for men and women. Vanilla, boozy, beautiful, sexy. I think everybody needs to have Annie in his or her collection. This is your white shirt, white dress fragrance. You wake up early in the morning, you spray this baby on, and then you go on with your day. People will ask you, what do you have on? You smell so good, you smell so great. I've gotten a lot of compliments with this fragrance on. Try it, you will love it. The last one from Nishani is Passion Choco. This is uh, my last uh, Nishin uh, perfume I purchased. Passion Choco is a coffee, uh, grapefruit and chocolate fragrance. If you're into chocolate, you're into sweet chocolate, you're into things that are very gourmand. So this is the fragrance to have in your collection. It's Passion Choco all right i have one house left okay and in that house i have left i only have three fragrances from that house can you believe it and it's a it's a house that i really love but i only have three three fragrances from that house so sorry i'm down to my last house and my last three fragrances so this house is from uh is dosita i only have three fragrances from this house even though i love uh, this house for some reason i just don't buy a lot from this house right so my first one is isara isara is an aromatic fougere fragrance for men and women 
I love wearing Isara. As you can see, I have made a dead in Isara, and I will be wearing this, you know, in the early spring, uh, not the summer, but I, because I don't think I don't think it's a summer fragrance, but uh, early spring, I will definitely be wearing this. My next one from the Parfum du Cita is La Douceur de Siam. La Douceur de Siam is an amber floral fragrance for men and women. It's gorgeous. So when you hear floral, if you want a beautiful uh, amber floral fragrance, try La Douceur de Siam. Uh, you will like wearing it. You know, it's perfect for late, uh, late winter and then early spring. Uh, not a summer fragrance, but uh, I think you can get away with wearing this in the spring. My last fragrance is uh, from the House of Dusita is Melody de l'Amour. Melody de l'Amour from Parfum Dusita is a tuberose fragrance. If you are not into tuberose fragrances, do not buy this fragrance because it's full of tuberose. It's a beautiful tuberose fragrance. You will love wearing this. I think you can wear this all year long. Alright guys, this is it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, buy the perfume, wear the perfume, buy the shoes, eat the dessert, and more importantly, forget about the haters. They are all haters. They are always going to hate. Thank you for sharing my video with your friends. I will see you in another video. And take care. Be good. And remember the distress sign. Thumb. Four fingers over the thumb. And then call 911. You may save a life. Thank you. Bye now. Take care.